My name is Diane Ventura. I was born and raised in western Pennsylvania. I grew up in a small town, a family of six, and I love the country that I was born in. <laughs> I, I have deep roots with America. I'm a daughter of the Revolutionary War. My parents still farm an original part of a thousand acre land grant that was given to Richard Hines who came to America from Ireland in 1772 and he fought in the Revolutionary War. This trip certainly changed my life. This gave me an idea of what is going on in the border on, on Texas, in Texas. We were surrounded by so many mothers who live every single day with the fear morning to night of somebody invading their private space. Elected officials who we vote for to support President Trump in his plan to provide a safe border wall to enforce the law that immigrants that are coming here need to come here legally. They need to be properly vetted. They need to have good intentions coming to America, not to steal from what we have built, but to be part of it and, and to gain and to prosper by joining with us. Before they walk through the door of, of America, they're showing us that they're not interested in living by our rules. We, we, we have an established rule here that we live underneath our Constitution and we are responsible for our actions. My biggest concern is the safety, the safety of the families, the safety of the communities, the concern that it's not going to stop in Texas. It's going to infiltrate into states across the United States. Already, states have established sanctuary cities, which has a big welcome sign that says, if you're breaking the law and you want to come in and you want to invade America, you are welcome here. I live in Pennsylvania. We have now two sanctuary cities. These Illegal immigrants are not going to be going to states that do not have sanctuary cities. They're going to be funneled in to the states that are saying, you are welcome here. The message I'm taking back to the moms of Pennsylvania, the politicians of Pennsylvania, the fathers of Pennsylvania, is this is not Texas's problem. This is America's problem. Because it's not going to stop in Texas. It's going to continue to infiltrate throughout our country. And a country without borders is soon not a country.